gosh. Um, right, sell the film in one line. That's a challenge. Marketing people get paid millions for this. <laughs> and they spend months coming up with this. And you want me to come up with it in 10 seconds. Um, footballers' wives meets Doctor Who. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah, well, uh, I'm Charlie Ross. I'm a stand-up comedian, actor and uh, writer. I've worked on a number of things. I've been in theatre, I've done some TV and I've done some film with Guy Thomas and with Mark Lever. And uh, we've worked on a couple of projects together and gone quite well. So hoping to look forward to work on this new project um, that's that we're coming up. This new project, without giving too much away, is interesting. It's got a time travel element, which as a huge geek and Doctor Who fan, I'm really quite excited about. It's got special effects, which I'm really excited about because I've always wanted to disappear on screen. But what I like about it, it's a short film which has a lot of ambition. And when you read the script, there are a lot of things in it where you think, wow, you'd see this in a major movie production. So they're not holding back. And I think that what I like about Gary and Mark is every time they do something, they want to push the envelope a little bit more. They want to be more ambitious. They want to test themselves. They want to try out new things. Instead of just saying that they don't want to stay in their comfort zone. And that's really interesting. That's good from, from my point of view as a performer. I don't want to stay in my comfort zone either. So I want to constantly be, be challenging myself. And the part is interesting because he's not a particularly nice man. And having played um, some villains uh, that I've performed in, in audio adventures, Doctor Who audio adventures in fact, and I've done a lot of radio work, um, but I played a couple of villains and I really enjoy doing those. They're, they're, they're great fun to play. And I wouldn't say he's necessarily a villain in the classic sense, but he's out for himself and he's uh, manipulative. He's a little bit, what we call in Scotland, sleek it. I don't know who, I think that's a fairly onomatopoeic word that kind of describes it uh, within itself. Yes, he's sleek it and uh, I like that. You know, he's a bit of a sneaky, slippery guy. Personally, I'd like to, I'm involved with this because it's the kind of thing I'd like to watch. And I think it's tapping into a lot of things about popular culture in terms of time travel is trendy and football is trendy. And, um, and also, uh, the kind of thoughts of if we could manipulate time, how would we use it to our own advantage? And you could use it as a force for good, and you could use it as a force for evil. Everyone's considered this at some point. Oh, if I could only go forward in time to Saturday and get the lottery numbers, and then come back and put a lottery ticket on. And then you think, well, that's not really moral, is it? Surely if I had that power, I could use it for good and do some other th kind of, you know, um, fantastic, you know, work. So uh, I think it taps into that and I think that's why it should be an interesting project to look at because it plays around with, with how we manipulate people and how we manipulate situations to our own advantage and, uh, and you know, asks a few tricky questions about what we do in that situation. So I quite like that and I think that's why it would be of interest to people in terms of investing and watching. Um, did a little bit of film work and I really enjoy that as well. My first piece of film work was with Gary Thomas on Early One Summer in 2006 and that was a really good experience, it was fantastic. Uh, I think I ticked every single box that you can tick in film. I was naked, so I did a new scene, I did a kissing scene, I did a, um, I did a driving scene, I drove a car, which is notoriously difficult to do on film, especially the way we did it. Um, so yeah, I ticked out and I almost worked with animals because when we were filming in the middle of the forest there was a dog walking thing going on all the time so we had to stop filming and it was also that coincided with my nude scene so poor old women out walking their dog had to get a nasty shot that morning when I'm standing there naked. Um, so yeah, it, it brought with all the, it was a very good training for, for some film experience and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've taken that on board ever since. Oh, I mean football go back a long way. My entire life, I've played football my whole life and I became a PE teacher. Uh, so obviously football and sport were a huge part of that. Uh, I've coached quite a few football teams. I've coached semi-professionally and professionally. I've done some scouting for um, some professional clubs in Scotland. I worked briefly with Dundee United and did some work with other smaller clubs. And uh, won a few cup finals as well as a teacher. I won quite a few cups and uh, so that's been reasonably successful. I've done all my, sport, my football qual coaching qualifications. Okay, so here's your chance to be an investor in film. Everyone wants to invest in film. Everyone wants to be involved in it. 
you get a chance to do this now. What do you get if you invest in film? Well, apart from having the pride and joy of watching the final product, you're going to get a signed shirt of someone who has been in the film. So one of the extras will have your name, possibly, on the back of their shirt. Um, and that could be your name. You'll have your name in lights. What does that mean? Well, you get a name the, you'll get your name in the credits at the end. Yes, the credits that come up at the end of a movie will be your name there. You'll be an executive producer. Are you panicking, thinking, what's an executive producer? Don't worry about it. Nobody knows. I swear to God, ask Steven Spielberg. He won't tell you, be able to tell you what an executive producer is, but you're going to be one and your name will be in the credits. You have a chance to be an extra in the film, so you could actually be in the film, in the background, involved, part of it, and there are some crowd scenes in this film, so you could be there and be on camera. Some of the best and most talented people started off as extras. Ruby Wax started off as an extra in Chariots of Fire. You could be the next Ruby Wax. Hey, how about that? Um, you get to go to uh, the premiere. The pre there will be a premiere of the film, so you'll be invited to the premiere at a designated location, and it's a film premiere. Come on, chance to get your best frock on, turn up and watch a movie that you've been involved in. Who could ask for more than that? There'll be a film evening, Mark Lever, who's a producer and writer, uh, does a series of wonderful film evenings where he shows his work and it's a chance to sit about and have a chat, watch films and have a chat with like-minded people about the films you've seen or any other film topic. There will be a stand-up show. I'm a stand-up comedian, there may be other stand-up comedians involved and you'll get tickets to come and see the show. I've been asked to do a joke to camera. Why would I do that when you can come and see me live and hear all my jokes and be part of this investment? So you'll get a chance to come to a stand-up show. Come along. Be a part of it, invest, be a part of film and have the pride at the end of the day that you'll be able to see this DVD and say, I contributed to extra time.